It's the kind of house they don't build anymore. A relic of a time when the world wasn't in such a hurry. When there was still time for a little charm and elegance. It has stood empty for a long while. And at the price, it is a bargain. For a growing young family, it is almost too good to be true. What do you think? I love it. James Brolin, Margot Kidder, Rod Steiger, in the Amityville Horror. God's peace in this house. Father Delaney, there's something very important. after the Lutz family moved into their dream house. They were running for their lives. What happened to them is an experience in terror you will never forget. And you will believe in the Amityville horror. From the best-selling book that made millions believe in the unbelievable, the Amityville horror. for at least five years. Hey, Victoria. How they survived is unexplainable. I'm your daddy's brother. Remember, Uncle Luke? With a loving family environment. Victoria and Lily have a real chance at a normal life. You sure about this? Nope. Hey, girls. Mama. I'm Annabelle. You can call me that. Or whatever you like. Mama. There's no way these girls are ready for this. And there is no way that I am ready for this. How have they been affected? They talk to the wolves. And what do they say? Mama. It'll get better. I promise. Like that?
I have got a two inch needle stuck into his arm while he was under hypnosis, didn't feel the pain. Okay, Kreskin, prove it. <clears throat> Hypnotize somebody. Yeah, do me. No. Come on. What's the worst that can happen? Close your eyes. Close your eyes. Why do I know that song? <laughs> Are you okay? What the hell did she do to me? I see a red door and I want to paint it black. He hasn't gone to work. He sleeps like 12 hours a night. Why are you digging? The man's switch got flipped. He's a receiver now. She's taking him away. She was here. What's the problem? I see people turn their heads and quick when I look away. Like a newborn baby, it just happens every day. Don't be afraid of it, Daddy. I look inside myself and see my heart is black. He can't stop it. He can't slow it down. He can't even figure it out. No! Whatever door you open in my mind, I want you to shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. Sometimes the world of the dead gets mixed up with the world of the living. As you can see, the housework has been rather neglected since the servants disappeared almost a week ago. Do you mean they just vanished? Into thin air. How do you do, children? I'm your new nanny. Are you going to leave us too? Why should I leave you? The others said they wouldn't, but they did, and then it happened. <sighs> your brother that there was someone else in the room there was that'll do Anne. i've seen them too <laughs> sooner or later she'll see them then everything will be different <laughs> ไม่เป็นไรมั้ยเนี่ยไอ้เหี้ยนี่ทายดีก็มึงเก่งทายเสียก็ว่ากูล้างไม่ดีแทนดูรูปนี้สิกูจะเชื่อหรือเปล่า
ความน่าสนใจของมันไม่ใช่แค่เงาแปลกๆในรูปเท่านั้นหรอกนะแต่มันอยู่ที่เรื่องราวในรูปมากกว่าแต่ที่ข้างๆและที่ข้างๆ
a young couple live in it. Give Ken a kiss. <laughs> you are so unlucky. With their three children. <laughs> and something more. Remember last night? Do you remember when you woke up and you yeah. said you're here? Uh-huh. Well, who did you meet? Who's here? TV people. Something's funny going on here next door. Something, uh... We were wondering if maybe you had experienced any disturbances lately. What kind of disturbances? I don't know what hovers over this house. is a frightening new threshold into a world within our own. Its form is revealed. What is it? Its focus is clear. And the games are over. It knows what scares you. You know the accident there? Yeah. Someone got hurt. They did? A lady. She broke her neck. Oh my god, but you can see her? Yes. Where is she? Standing next to my window. Baby, why are you shaking? Cole, what's wrong? Did you ever talk to your mom about how things are? I don't tell her things. Why not? Because she doesn't look at me like everybody else, and I don't want her to. I don't want her to know. Know what? I see dead people walking around like regular people. I don't see anything. Are you sure they're there? Sometimes you feel it inside, like you're falling down real fast. Do you ever feel the prickly things on the back of your neck? Yes. That's them. They get mad. It gets cold. How often do you see them? All the time. They're everywhere. <laughs> they want me to do things for them. I think that they know that you're one of these very rare people who can see them. So you need to help them. What if they don't want help? I don't think that's the way it works. How do you know for sure? Is anyone there? Simon. There are children who can see a hidden world whose imagination opens their eyes.
play. When they're alone in the dark. The Orphanage. I don't suppose they uh, told you anything in Denver about the tragedy we had up here during the winter of 1970? Well, a man named Charles Grady is the winter caretaker. And he came up here with his wife and two little girls, I think about eight and ten. From what I've been told, I mean, he seemed like a completely normal individual. But at some point during the winter, he must have suffered some kind of a complete mental breakdown. He ran amok and... Uh, Killed his family with an axe. You can rest assured, Mr. Ullman, that's not gonna happen with me. Mom? Yeah? Do you really want to go and live in that hotel for the winter? Sure I do. It'll be lots of fun. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> For some people, uh, solitude and isolation can, of itself, become a problem. What do you do? They killed you and Danny. You did this to me. 